job. Hold everything right now. We've been looking forward to this day for so long. Like over a year. Yeah. I started teeing it. For a long time. It's pretty nice. Um, especially in the second trimester, like I have my energy back. I feel so much better. Still like very scatterbrained. And I have like a lot of gas pain, but that's pretty much it. start today um, I've, my brother's moving out in the next couple of weeks so I've been helping him get like boxes together and just like get his life together because he's like I probably just need one box right and I'm like, no. what like bless him anyway so I've been helping him this morning and I'm finally able to work out so this is my third morning work and obviously I take it very easy I've, I'm like following this pregnancy um, workout but Every time I would work out, like five minutes into the workout, I would just get so nauseous it would like trigger my morning sickness. So I was like, okay, I can't, I can't. So I'm finally able to work out and feel good, which is nice because working out, it's just, my doctor has just been like pushing me to at least like go walk, move your body, do something. It's just like the best thing you can do. So I've been, and it helps with my bloat throughout the day. Um, I was getting this crazy like, daily bloating towards the end of the day and since I've been working out the past three days I haven't had that which has been so nice um but anyways I'm gonna get ready I've got a few things to do today um I don't have a super heavy work workload day a lot of computer stuff just a couple of things to film and then Ryan and I are gonna go to the movies but um I'm uh partnered with Beauty Counter today which I'm so excited about because I saw their products on Goop about a month ago and I was dying to try them um, so I have been using their Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer, which has been so nice and lightweight and dewy and refreshing for summer. I feel like I'm not even wearing makeup, so this has been just so great <laughs> to put on my face. And I'm using a few of their other products, but I'll show you as I'm like putting my makeup on. I do like to put this on with my fingers, just like I'm putting skincare on. And this actually does have clinically proven skincare in it. Um, to help with skin elasticity. You can put it on with the beauty blender as well. Um, I kind of like to put it on with my fingers first and then buff it out with the beauty blender. It has SPF 20 in it, which is pregnancy safe. This is a clean beauty brand. Um, I ran it by my doctor and she gave me the green light <laughs> to go ahead a while ago. So just gives you like a really dewy, luminous finish. I'll show you in up close in a second. So then I just kind of dab it with a beauty blender and um, after I put my concealer under my eyes, I'm going to use the beauty Ooh. After I put the concealer under my eyes, I'm going to use the beauty counter mattifying, mattifying powder to set underneath my eyes. The mattifying powder really helps the um, reflection of like if you have more hollowed out under eyes like I do, it kind of gives you that effect of dark circles. But it's not, it's just creating a shadow because your under eyes are hollow. Um, the mattifying powder really helps the reflection of that so you don't get that dark circle under eye look. So I pretty much use a, a powder, a setting powder under my eyes every single time I do my makeup because it just makes such a difference. I fill in my brows a little bit with a pencil. I have Beauty Counters Brow Gel, and this is the color medium. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go over. This helps my eyebrows stay in place because they are so unruly. And when I'm just going for a super, super light makeup look, this is the only thing I'll use. I won't even use the pencil because this adds enough um, color. I have tried so many of these liquid eyeshadows and this one definitely just beats them all. It doesn't crease your eyelids, which is the hardest thing. Like, you know, I'll use one because I love the look of it. It's like very glossy looking. Um, but then as soon as you blink twice, <laughs> it immediately just creases. So this one actually stays in place. And I just put a little bit on my lid 
with the applicator and then I'll take my finger and just kind of blotch it around, spread it around. I love this color though. I forgot what this color is. Um, I don't have my glasses. I can't read that, but um, everything will be linked below with the correct colors that I'm using. Um, I'm using Beauty Counters Mascara. Look at this packaging. It's so cool. Got the brush with the short bristles that goes on so well. It doesn't like clump up your lashes every time you use it. I a little bronzer on my cheekbones, so I'm gonna go back in with this glossy eyeshadow and I'm gonna do my cheeks. color to my lips and then I'm gonna add the beauty counter gloss in the color all right makeup is done everything will be linked below in the description box and um, the shades of what I use will also be linked in the description box because I can't read that I'll fix my hair really quick and I'll see you in just a little bit um, pick an outfit change into something comfortable for the movie but then but I need to like find something kind of cute for right now because I have a couple of things to film um something pink probably to match my uh makeup maybe this cute or I like this little dress from Mango. Yeah. And I think it looks good with the makeup, but I'm probably gonna pull my hair back into a bun after I just fixed it. Cause when I have these poofy sleeves, I feel like pulling your hair back looks best so you don't have like a lot of hair and a poofy sleeve. I feel like it's just too much. I think the tie is gonna go right above my little bump. So that's nice and comfy. So I'm gonna wear this dress. This reminds me, I haven't checked Mango's site in a couple of weeks and I feel like they're having a sale right now for Memorial Day, so I definitely need to check that out. All right, this is what we're doing. Right, I decided that I need to eat something really quick. Um, I like learned in pregnancy and I was talking about this on Instagram that when you're hungry you need to eat I mean you've got like a 10 minute window before you just start withering away so um, I need to make sure that I'm not too full when I go to the movies or hungry when I go to the movies honestly I would rather get hungry because I can just go get a snack but like I can't go too full because then I'm just miserable um, so I have been Raving every single day this sweet potato avocado toast that I made like a week ago I've had it almost every single day for lunch and I skipped yesterday because I was like, okay You need to relax on the stuff on the sweet potato avocado toast I had it pretty much every day for lunch except yesterday because I ran out of honey But then I went to the store and I got honey so I can have it today So I'm gonna share the recipe with you because it is so good um, Let me get all the ingredients together and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end Actually, before I start cutting sweet potatoes, I need to see if Ryan wants some. Because every time I make it, he's like, why didn't you ask me? Why didn't you make me one? I think he's working out. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. What are you doing? Look out. Look how cute you are. <laughs> see the bump in this. <laughs> you love, I love it. <laughs> Look in the mirror. This is not a flattering mirror. This is a wide yeah, mirror. True. No, this is yeah, a wide mirror. Turn sideways. <laughs> Look at that. Let's mm. see. <laughs> I 
love it. You're so cute. Um, do you want soup potato avocado toast? Yes, I do. Okay. I would enjoy that very much. All right, you got it. How many pieces, two? Okay. Uh, what time are we leaving for the movies? It starts at three, right? four. Four. So we'll leave here at like three thirty, just to get there. And... Okay. Sounds good. Day date. Day date. AKA that was the only time we could get the nice seats. It is what it is. <laughs> While my sweet potatoes and bread are in the oven, I just got a box. Um, from Zara. Um, I've ordered quite a few new clothing items because I'm just having such a hard time right now with my belly, um, with my current clothes. So I ordered a few new like spring, summer, pregnancy friendly pieces. I have a feeling a lot of it's going to be returned, but hopefully I can find a handful of things that look good on me. I ordered actually quite a bit of stuff from Zara, but I think this is one dress that came, so let's see what it is. So I got this lime green, like very neon, like a blazer dress. I've been loving these really bright colors lately. So, okay, this is what it looks like. And I guess it just ties on the side. See, I think this could work. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try it on now because I need to go make, like, check my stuff in the oven. These are all my brother's moving boxes um, stacked up. I'll either try it on after I eat or let me get back from the movies. Stomach is the smallest it's gonna be during the day right now, like before I eat lunch. So, I don't know, I think it's probably a good idea to actually try it on when my stomach is the biggest because I feel like, because I'm just gonna keep getting bigger from here. Like, it's just, that's just how it works. Okay, let me check my uh, toast and my potatoes. Because I'm so hungry. Okay, so I start with my Toast. This is Ryan's plate, and this is a loaf of rosemary sourdough bread that I get from Whole Foods. And I just put a little bit of olive oil on it, and then toast it in the oven, just until it's not. I don't. I don't like it so crispy that it um, like rips the roof of my mouth off when I take a bite. But crispy enough for it to be like toast. So what I'm gonna do is put some goat cheese, pasteurized goat cheese on top of toast, and that's gonna be my first layer. I wish I could show you what I'm doing down here, but I can't find my Joey stick, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so this is the layer of goat cheese, and then I have mashed one and a half avocados with a little salt and pepper. So I'm going to spread that as the next layer. I'm gonna spread it around. Our roasted sweet potatoes, and I cut them into really thin slices, like this. And then I put them in the oven on 350 for just until they get soft and like a little crisp on the edges. And always make extra because I always think that I make enough and I run out. So, so once that's done. Here we go. Then grab some crushed red pepper for a little kick. Sprinkle on as much as you want. And to top it off, some honey. This is what we got. I'll put the recipe below. Hey. Hi. Do you want to eat inside or have a picnic out here? Picnic. Will you come help me carry the plates? Yeah, let me finish this up. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, you gotta hurry though, because I'm really hungry. Okay. It's like, a, it's an emergency. Emergency. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Picnic. Oh, Winnie, no. Win. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Back, no, back, back, back. No, Winnie. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wanna sit on the ground? No, there's bugs on the ground. Oh. Let's. How here. dare you not have a picnic table? Here, let me set this here. Delicious. It's kind of nice out here. It's it like, is nice. Got a little They've made it nicer because I got the AC going. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, look at that. 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 my lips. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try that dress on. And as predicted, my stomach is extended so far. Hi, ladies. Uh-uh, Winnie. 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 I think this is gonna be a no for me. Um, a few things. The sleeves are, I mean, it, either it needs to be a long sleeve or a three-quarter length. Like, this is just, like, too short. <laughs> Like, if I were to look at somebody wearing this, I'd be like, their sleeves are just, like, it doesn't fit. Um, next is, like, this situation. Um, there's nothing stop like, you, there's my underwear right there. It's fine on the belly. I don't know what I did here with, like, the tie, but it's, like, it's a situation where it almost worked so this is going back okay we're headed to the movies i've been looking forward to this how dare you turn that ac down i know but the in the middle of a hundred degree day <laughs> camera we can't hear us i'm looking forward to this all day we're going to see top gun by the way and what else was i don't see? i know like i don't think i've ever shared this the significant significance or What's the word I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. To Top Gun. So, when Ryan and I first started talking, like talk, like texting, um, he asked me one night, like, what are you doing? I was so hesitant to say, I'm watching Top Gun. So I was like, <laughs> I'm watching a movie. And he was like, oh, what movie? And I was like, Ugh, I should just tell him. So, backstory, I grew up watching Top Gun because my dad obsessed with planes, jets, you know, since he's like forever. So I grew up watching Top Gun, so it's one of my favorites. So I told Ryan I'm watching Top Gun. And he was like, no way, like that's one of my favorite movies. Was it really? Of all time. Wait, was it really? Or yes. we just, okay, he was Top like, Gun favorites of all and I was time. like, no way. Like it's such a classic movie. And like, I had never really met anyone who loves Top Gun like that. And so, I was like, oh, well, maybe you should come over sometime and we can watch Top Gun. So I think that was the first movie we ever watched together, like at my house, at my apartment. He came over and we watched it. So it was either Top Gun or Jurassic Park. It was one of those. It wasn't Jurassic Park. It was one of the Jurassic Park. I really Park. don't have like a connection with Jurassic Park like that. Yes, I would we do. A little, but one not. One of the core movies of our beginning. No, no, no but not like Top Gun. Not Definitely like not like Top Gun. Yeah, I'm just saying. So, so as soon as we saw the commercial for Top Gun 2 that it was coming out, we were just like, stop. Hold everything right now. We've been looking forward to this day for so long. Like over a year. Yeah. We started teasing it. For a long time. You know they started Let's filming see. this movie in 2018? No way. 
I swear. Really? Yes, but then the and but then the COVID, or maybe it was 2019. Maybe 19. Yeah. But still, isn't that crazy? That's wild. So long ago. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Can't wait. I really wish I wasn't as so full from that toast I had earlier. Well, we gotta get over that because I got the need. Oh, speed. <laughs> minutes to pick a game. movies I've seen in a while. In a really long time. It was so good. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. Tom Cruise just has it, bro. He's so cool. He knows how to entertain. He makes the goods. Man, that was so good. Do they, do, are these new planted things? No idea. Well, I actually, yeah, look, this yeah, is all new mulch. Yeah, looks like new green. But it smells like poop. I know, it stinks. Wait, can we check the mail? No. Good morning. I uh, just came up to my office to get dressed for the day. Um, Ryan and I are going out to look at a couple of strollers. We worked on the registry all weekend and I think the stroller and the car seat are just one of those things that we need to see in person. Um, we watched, I mean, we probably spent like five hours watching YouTube video reviews and we're down to two strollers. Um, the Upa Baby Vista and the Nuna mix. Um, I, Ryan and I both are more um, favorable to the Nuna mix. So we're gonna go look at them both in person and just kind of make a decision. But um, I need to put my hair in a bun. I just did the ponytail, I need to put a bun, I need to put some jewelry on, grab some sandals, a bag, put a bra on. But we, oh my gosh, Top Gun was so good. I don't think I ever checked back in with you guys after the movie. Um, we were exhausted. The baby was <laughs> jumping around the entire movie because it was so loud. And I think um, it was getting the baby just excited. I mean, this little nugget was just flip-flopping all over the place and kicking and punching. And I was just so uncomfortable <laughs> the whole movie. Um, but it was so good. So good. Actually, I'm having flashbacks now of telling you guys it was good but I didn't talk to you when we got home we were both exhausted we showered got in bed early and just like chilled and like watched tv um but today it is it's like three days later now um we've just been working on the registry the whole weekend so now I'm like back in action yesterday was memorial day so I got an extra day to just like chill and work on the registry um now we're about to head out um oh, i forgot i had this dress i was looking for something kind of like tent ish and this is perfect um and i'm probably gonna wear the same beauty counter gloss i got i have never gotten so many compliments on a lip gloss like a lip color in my life as i did when i wore the beauty counter <laughs> the other day so i'm gonna wear that again um uh, i think it's a great color so I'm gonna grab my sandals. I just got these new sandals from Mango. They're just little flat slide-ons with like straps, little strappy flat sandals. So I'm gonna break these in today and yeah, let's get going. I will say Ryan's not having a very good day today. It's just like one of those days for him that it's just one thing after another. So if he's a little like womp womp, you know why. He said, he was like, I've got to get out of the house. It'll make me feel better if we go look at strollers. So I was like, okay, let's go. We're on our way. This bra has a thread inside of it. And it it just so Bras have threads? Or it's got like a, something's poking me inside and I can't get to it. Um, but it's a crumb of something you ate. <laughs> I hate you. Cookie crumb. What is it? Like, doesn't make sense. Um, 
so we're going to look at the two strollers. Um, we're going to Nordstrom because I think Nordstrom is the only place that carries Nuna. This other place does, it's like boutique, but they're randomly closed today. Um, and then Bye I think we're going to go to Bye Bye Baby to look at the Up A Baby um, right. stroller and just like Up Bye Bye Baby in general for like car seats. We're looking at the Nuna Pippa car seats, which we learned all about yesterday on YouTube. All six models. And YouTube just is the best. Some like other things that they have as Visual well. learners. Yeah, we were Tough. reading about them and we were like, Ryan was like, I'm sorry, I don't get it. I'm gonna have to see it. Yeah, <laughs> so we were like. You can't talk about like the adaptable ring feature that goes into the base and has, no clue. has rear stabilizers and it can also have like adjustable headrests with like great NASA grade foam on the interior <laughs> airline. You can point and show me. Show yeah. me what it is. Yeah. So YouTube saved our lives yesterday. We watched all the tutorials but now we're going to go look at them in person and then try to get back kind of quick. Ryan's trying to make our baby car sick. Look at turning races. It's pretty nice. This is, like, this is so lightweight. It is very light. Yeah. Are we sure this is the RX? I don't know. We need to ask. I mean, it looks very similar to this, right? I mean, it's got this. I don't even know if this is the mix. We don't even know I think that. it is because the tires are bigger than this one. And this is the Tabo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet you're right. No, no, no. Just our arcs. On the tag. I think that tells you what fabrics, though. It's like a swatch oh, thing, okay, you know? Okay. Oh, this is cute. I haven't done research on. What is this? Baby swings yet. They just sit in it and it rocks like this? Oh, my God. Um. Some bounce, some vibrate, some move, and some just like, this looks like an electric one, but sometimes like the baby Bjorn one, oh, it, it's you electric. just do your foot. Yeah, some have like Bluetooth and you can control it from your phone. I don't know if I want Bluetooth waves going on my baby's head. <laughs> I love this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Extend that handlebar, bro. Wait, where are the brakes? Is that the red thing to break? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last stop. What? Uh, yes. Do you need them? Oh my God, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan wants a jogging stroller. He just discovered that they exist, but he's worried for safety. How does this seem dangerous? Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh my gosh. Do you usually trip when you run? Okay. Ooh. I, you are never pushing her baby in a stroller. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Hello from bed. Um, it's been a few hours. I got, I came straight home and started working. I have to edit like a few videos. I'm a little behind. Um, I just started feeling so scattered. My schedule was just, I just didn't have a good system down. I felt like during the day I was just zoning and dozing and I think it's a pregnancy thing because I usually am very productive and very busy and I usually am pretty good about setting up my day at the beginning of the day but I don't know, there's just something about, I just can't focus very well. And so I've been, for the past couple of weeks setting up my days on Monday morning. I mean setting up my weeks on Monday morning and it's been really helping. So I stick to like a schedule every day that I set up for myself and it's been really helpful. And today since we went stroller shopping because of Ryan's bad day, <laughs> I got a little behind. So I'm like trying to edit a bunch of videos. I think we decided on the Nuna mix for the stroller. For a lot of different reasons, I don't know if you guys care, I can get into it in the next video if you care about the stroller review. 
but um, overall just like that one better for a lot of different reasons. The, the Upper Baby Vista has a ton of great features. Um, just we overall like the Nuna better, but, and of course the, there's like some parts that are sold out and they don't know when they're going to be restocked, but I say we just worry about those things when the time comes. Never really got into like, you know, I was gone for so long. I meant to talk, like get into this in the first, the last vlog, but I, I hadn't announced my pregnancy yet. So it was hard to like talk about it without you know, talking about my pregnancy, but um, like I said in our pregnancy announcement video, that quick little video we put out, I just had a really rough um, first trimester. And so it was, I just wasn't vlogging. I just, I mean, it was, it was rough. Um, I'll get, I'm gonna do a first trimester recap, like I told you, but uh, that's kind of why I disappeared for so long. It was like the IVF meds, you know, they were messing with me so much in that second round and then it went straight into pregnancy, which was like first trimester was super rough. So it was just a long stretch of like, what is happening with me right now? But um, yeah, I'm happy to be back and being getting into like a more consistent habit of posting and it's just like feels good to get, like get my life back and start feeling like myself again, um, especially in the second trimester. Like I have my energy back. I feel so much better still like very scatterbrained and I have like a lot of gas pain but that's pretty much it um and a little bit of back pain but that's pretty much it so I'm able to like you know get my schedule back and it feels good but anyways I'm gonna end the vlog here uh I'm like fighting a nap because it's 6 30 I'm afraid if I take a nap I won't be able to go to sleep tonight so I'm gonna go get a snack Spells. Aw. She's got some itchy skin right now. We're taking her to the vet on Thursday. She has an appointment. She's been itching so much. I think it's just allergies or the grass or something. She had a skin infection a couple of weeks ago. We did a round of antibiotics and it cleared up, but now it's back. So I don't know if we should do another round of antibiotics or I don't know. Poor thing so hard when your pets, like something's wrong because they can't tell you what it is. It makes me sad, but all right, I'll see you guys next time. Sorry, hold on. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.